Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, Microsoft yesterday had some more news again at GDC 2017, and this time it was about Crackdown 3. Now, they went on to detail how the cloud enables a truly massive, destructible world. Now, I'm reporting on the story from DualShockers.com, so I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can click on it and read it for yourself in its entirety. Now, during a panel at GDC, uh, DualShockers was in attendance, and uh, Microsoft gave more information on how cloud compute will work in the upcoming Crackdown 3. Now, they said during a panel a video would showcase comparing physics running on an Azure cluster and you can see in the picture here and physics running on a local machine. Now the local machine is not an Xbox One but it's a pretty high-end PC equipped with a GTX 980 Ti which is a very powerful processor with lots of memory. Now you'll notice at the left side the buildings have an overlay with different colors. Now each color represents an individual physics server spun up on demand as the game plays. Now as destruction increases the single local machine can't keep up and frame rates start to drop. While the Azure cluster is able to distribute the computations on multiple servers to cope with the additional processing power required. Now interestingly, the physics simulation is done several frames in advance and can cope with multiple possibilities. All the data gets returned to the game server with the streams configured for each game client enabling a lot more physics capability on what we've seen in the past. Now I gotta say it's been a long time that we've been waiting for cloud compute. Microsoft discussed this from the launch of Xbox One and a lot of people laughed this out and said you know it was impossible this wouldn't happen and now we see companies like Nvidia enabling their GPUs to be used in the cloud for complete uh, streaming of the game you don't even need to have the hardware AMD announced uh, earlier this week at GDC that they're gonna be partnering with uh, Liquicity and they're gonna be offering uh, cloud compute using their GPUs in the cloud so this is definitely something that is possible and I can't wait for it finally to materialize itself later this year which I suppose is gonna release with the launch of Scorpio anyways I want to know what you guys think so please leave your comments down below I also ask you guys to like share and subscribe to the channel and I also noticed that some people have been saying they haven't been getting the notifications of my new videos so when you subscribe to my channel or if you're already subscribed make sure you click the little bell there so that you'll be notified when my new videos launch anyways I'll see you guys on the next one